Hello, welcome, and good morning. It is another Let's Update modding OpenMW.com stream. Um, but today, actually, just jumping right into it, assuming you can hear me. <coughs> Soundtrack as usual by these fine folks. Check, check. Can you hear me? Today, though, the only item we have on our list is basically let's examine the work we've been taking on since, I don't know, six plus months now and uh and try to make it happen thank you somalia appreciate the sound check <clears throat> so we don't have much time let's get right to it i have already began by replacing my uh total overhaul config with something freshly imported from the wizard so if you're setting up openmw yourself for the first time you're going to go ahead and use the wizard or something like that and that's what i've already done i have time here so i've got um <clears throat> excuse me i've got as you can see here, a bunch of this fallback stuff, which these are just engine values um, that are defined in the Morrowind.ini file to make the game look and act the way you know and love. Um, and then, yeah, this stuff, uh, which is, you know, where are the game files at? What are the content files I want to load? And also, what are the, uh, the fallback archives, which contain, you know, uh, data files themselves? So uh, let's go ahead and just... For posterity here, we'll go ahead and just run this. We'll have plain old Morrowind going on here. Um, and also for posterity, I've got the, uh, let's go ahead and open up a total overhaul beta version. And we'll just come down here to uh, the very first step here. We won't get on with it just yet, but we'll get it loaded up. Step number one, okay. We're going to load uh, just Morrowind right now. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Super loud here. Hold up. Come on, Morrowind. You don't need to be that loud. There you go. Okay. Yeah, uh, here we are. Just plain old Morrowind. And the blue splash screen was because I ripped my splash screens out of my vanilla data because I don't want to use them in my other modded setups. Um, I have them in a different folder. You wouldn't have that, though, but you would have a setup basically looking like this, um, which, you know, I am granted. Let me run it with my, my FPS monitor. Um, you wouldn't have the blue splash screen there, but you'll have a setup basically like this. We are, you know, uh, vanilla Morrowind as you can be while still using OpenMW. Um, vanilla assets. And granted, I'm on my, you know, relatively potato-y Intel graphics card here, but eh, performance is slightly above, you know, slideshow grade. Um, and it will be interesting to see how that changes as we start to add patches and performance stuff. Um, yeah, okay, though. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's Morrowind, all right, yeah. I mean, we'll just hide that indicator, and we've got no Lewis scripts here happening. Just keeping it minimal. Uh, okay, well. Excellent. So I happen to have, uh, whoops. I have an exist, obviously an existing setup with all my mods here. And so what I'm going to do is when we go through each mod, I won't um, re-download things just for the sake of re-downloading them, but I will, um, you know, re-extract them fresh and just to make sure we've got like the, the setup that you're going to have as you're first installing things. And so one thing I need to do too is, is uh, let's actually set my path to the path that's on my computer. So I'll get my base folder is... Mm-hmm. And then my data files is going to be here. And this is important because the website is going to give us stuff to copy and paste into here. So it needs to be accurate. All right. <clears throat> moving on. Okay, so yeah, we can see there's the there's the folder path. All right, I'm going to move the browser right here. And then I got my mod folder right here. And so we got uh, games, OpenMW, mods, Patches. Whoop. Patch for Purist. Okay. Um, just going to go ahead and delete all of that. Um, this is the newest version of Patch for Purist. And just for posterity, we're going to go ahead and open up that mod page and give it a look here. Um, yeah. And this is the one. Probably the... <laughs> hey, Altariel. Welcome. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you're here. Hope you're having a great day. Just jumping right into it, uh, Patch for Purist. Uh, which is, yeah, I think it's the one mod that basically you want in basically any setup, really. Um, unless you're doing the, like, 
for the glory of 2002 run, you know, <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, okay. Uh, now you may be using a mod manager software or something like that. I'm just doing it, doing it the old man way uh, by taking it out of the zip and all that stuff. So um, okay, and here we are. So going along with what we got here, here's my folder path. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that in there. And actually, hold up. Hey, Sophia, good morning. Welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you for joining. Just doing the total overhaul. It's happening, you guys. It's happening. Um, let's jump on over to the CFG generator. But first, I'm going to go ahead and click Enable, right? Because I have just installed this one. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to select Total Overhaul. It's going to crunch for a little bit. Custom CFG section. Here we go. Just patch for purist. I went ahead and... Uh, yeah, well, so <laughs> Sophia, the intent, like, obviously, we will do the whole list. Are we going to do it all today? Uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> hey there, dude guy. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, you're just in time. You know, we're not going to do, obviously, the whole total overhaul. So just thinking back to the one day modernization deal. Rob and I did that whole list in like, I don't know, seven hours. <laughs> um, we're not doing that today. We're going to do as much as we reasonably can with the intention of showing the kind of the new workflow. Um, now, what's notable, notably missing from the screen here is the big checkbox we were working on yesterday. Turns out I didn't actually finish that. I started working more on my signpost mod and, and other real life non-Morrowind things. Um, but... So that's missing here. We're just going to click them one at a time. And actually, I'm going to go through the list and do it this way. But uh, when you, the user, are doing this in the future, you know, um, you're going to have the big checkbox here to check all the items in a list for you. So you won't have to do them uh, one at a time. Yo, yo, good morning, Sector. Thank you for joining. So glad you're here, man. Um, yeah. All right. So we're going back to it. We're doing total overhaul from scratch. Join along. Oh, Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Eltariel. I was actually just thinking to myself, huh, there's something missing there. Cool. Um, and yeah, obviously I did deploy all your recent work, so um, excellent. Thank you for all that. What do we got here? Ooh, okay. All right, so um, let's go back to here now, and we'll note that uh, we got three plugins here. One, two, three. All right, and uh, so let's just go ahead and go to the bottom of the page here, and we're looking for this Submit Custom Setup button. Now, when you're doing this in the future, there will probably be a, like a friendly, friendly link that will take you down here. For now, I just got to use the End key on my keyboard. Click this link to go back down. Um, whoop, no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Just scroll down slightly to get my new config. And so um, copy to clipboard, and this is what you do. All right, now, we may, at this point, run the game again. So, uh, whoop, that's not the terminal I wanted. Sheesh. All right, let's run the game again. Total overhaul. Step one, checked off. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So there is a difference in the naming here of the folder I have versus the one the CFG generator gave me. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit to the will of that. Whoa. Don't try this at home. Lowercase f, fine by me. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and just do a quick OpenMW validator run on that. Boom, okay. No problems, cool. And uh, run the game. Yeah, here we go. Okay, boom. Um, you know, still getting the kind of unfortunate frame rate going on here but if we look here we can see um ignore the red text there but we can see scrolling up a little bit we got our content files loaded and i hit f uh, f10 by the way to pull this screen up we got our patch for purist mod loaded and um if we scroll a little further up yeah here we go we can see loading the data files folder too so yippee all right progress Let's go, then, to step two. All right. So, yeah. Uh, if, for whatever reason, we wanted to remove this or any other mod from our config, you would simply just click that. Um, I don't want to do that, though. We're keeping this one. Go to the next one. Official plugins naturalize. Okay. Uh, so, scrolling down, patches, blah, blah, blah. We're probably going to have a lot of these things where I type them differently on my, on my local... 
Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. Okay, so let's um just delete what I already have. We will extract it fresh. Mm, okay, yeah, that's right. So this is a question for you folks that are here with me then. Um, we have the high res, and you might have noted the, the folder I deleted. Um, I think So I think what we should do is maybe have two folder paths for this one. Um, maybe? Like one for main and one for high res, kind of like I had. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit awkward when like this one is like a subfolder of the main one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Eltario. Um, I'm going to make a note of that. So let's do... Uh, put that in my document. All right. This is why we're doing this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a folder called main. Um, if you, And again, if you're using like some mod manager software you'll have a way to do this that's different. I'm gonna go ahead and exclude that stuff and put it into main. Good deal. And then I'm just gonna drop this high resolution textures folder right there. Okay, cool. So this is a bit unfortunate. Uh, hey, Detail Devil, good day, welcome. Glad to see you. I'm really glad you're here today. Uh, Correlate to their actual data path order section uh, sector. Thank you for asking. Uh, no. Uh, so going back to the mod list. Thank you for asking that. Um, yeah. So it used to be if you've been following the website since the good old days, um, it used to be the case that the order the mods were was the the data path order. That's no longer the case. Over the summer, you know, we did all kinds of work to implement different ways of having the data in the database, including folder paths, um, and heroic effort, efforts by Gonzo and everybody to move the data over to that. So yeah, we are merely presenting the mods now in what we feel is a hopefully somewhat logical order. Ronick has put a ton of work into this um, to make sure things are, are ordered logically, but when it comes down to it, the single source of truth for what your folder path and plug-in load order should be, ground cover, extra settings, the single source of truth for that should be the config generator. And as you go through the list and you check enable here, it's going to, uh, you know, update what you need here. So if we add something that needs more configs or settings or something, it'll throw that here. So cool. Welcome back, Detail Devil. Uh, glad to hear that uh, you had an amazing time. Um, one of my close friends uh, actually lives in Ireland right now, uh, the author of uh, Fargoth's Mountain Hunt, actually. So uh, he loves it there. So cool. Welcome back. And yeah, we're just doing total overhaul setup and just kind of talking about things today. So um, actually, since I got the code here, let's go ahead and fix this right now in the code. Huh? Shall we? You know, data. Oh, data path order. Okay. So naturalized. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give this two. And we're going to say extra CFG, uh, wait, extra DERS. <laughs> I can remember my own system. I'm just going to call this one main. And whatever this one was called as it came out the zip. We'll probably need some usage notes to kind of explain to folks what's going on here with these folder paths, I would think. Um, and with that, let's actually move over to my local copy of the website. Hmm? And actually, we can do that from within Emacs. I'm just a crazy, crazy guy today. All right. Hmm? Oh, okay, cool. Good to hear, yeah. Definitely looking forward to actually having a playthrough with the BCOM Plus content. Okay, well, while that's chugging, we're just going to move on. The reason why I'm moving to the local version of the website, though, is because, yeah, the config I'm going to get now is, is no longer, uh, you know, it's no longer good. 
because we added the folder. So yeah, I'm going to switch to my local version of the website and we can use that going forward. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm not going to stop because this is going to take a minute. I'm not going to stop uh, making progress here. So let's move forward and we'll we'll test once we're done adding, you know, other things. So, um, okay, moving on. Expansion delay. Okay, yep. Yeah, never been to Ireland, but I certainly would love to check it out sometime. Bring Smolio there and just get lost in some old city or countryside. Sounds good. All right, yeah, nothing crazy here. Just a, just a plug-in and uh, docs folder. We will click the button. Whew, yeah, this is actually going to really take a long time. We are going to persist on the dark path of using the busted CFG generator, and we'll just, you know, gradually fix it locally as we go along, because unfortunately, yeah, this is, whew, this is going to take way too long to do on the stream. Okay. Let's get our new config. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Where is my config? There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take this. Hmm. Sophia, that's a great question. Um, so check it out. We cannot stop triggering the combat music, but you can like do hacky stuff, like be like, "Oh, is this track playing?" and then stop it or something like that. Hey, Gonzo, welcome. Good morning. Glad you're here, dude. Yeah, we're doing the the old total overhaul, rather the new one, huh? Um, the one basically that you started up, my friend. So, yeah, uh, that's a great question, Sophia. It would be really cool, uh, but the Lua API is not quite there with regard to audio capabilities. Like, we can't – there's no, like, way to really hook into um, when it's going to be triggered aside from, yeah, just, like, every frame trying to detect when you're in combat or trying to notice if that track is playing and then doing whatever you need to do, you know, because of it. Okay, so I'm going to real quick go up here, and then I'm going to make a little bit of copy pasta that I can copy pasta over our copy pasta from the CFG generator. So let's go back here, a couple of folders here. Yeah, here we go, this one. Uh, so the dart thrower would be in combat with the player, right? Um, maybe like the Dark Brotherhood people, you know, or something like that, trying to sneak you out. Yeah, I believe such a thing exists for MWSE. I would, I think they have a very powerful music mod going on okay so i'm gonna keep this commented up here and then that way i can just put this in here we gotta work we gotta work in config because we don't want to go too many steps without testing so here we are config that i got from the cfg generator minus the you know the change data path which is slowly depressingly slowly crunching over there let's run the game again okay here we go Okay, gotcha. Yeah, um, you know, eventually we will have a, a good API for music. Already we have a decent one for playing sound and de detecting if something is playing, but uh, can't quite do that yet. Oh, okay, I got you. Um, hmm, yeah, so I mean, yeah, you could probably... Yeah, you probably could do some Lewis shenanigans to stop it. Oh, I see. I got you, Sector. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, I never used it either. Um, let's go back into the game now. We should have three mods loaded, and we'll verify that. Ignore my blue splash screen. I peeled that out, uh, as I mentioned earlier, just so I could not use them in my normal total overhaul setup. So, okay. Uh, hit escape, hit F10, scrolling up a little bit here now. I can see the new stuff that I added. Very nice, okay. Scroll up a little bit more, I can see my data paths showing up. Um, is 
some weird stuff going on here. Oh, because it's I guess it's wrapping the new line. Okay. That's acceptable. Yeah. Um you so Sophia, further to that, Sophia and Detail Double, there could possibly be and Sector, correct me if I'm wrong, you could probably do some Lewis shenanigans where yeah, you're like detecting if the dart thrower is the combat starter and stop the combat music like instantly the next frame. You could do something like that. All right, let's just walk around here again. We've got no uh, real performance gains yet because we haven't added any of that stuff. I want to walk a little bit slower, by the way, when I'm testing this out. So let's go ahead and, ooh, finally. Testing. Yeah, yeah. So that's one option. If you wanted a Lua solution to that detail double, for OpenMW Lua at least, um, you know, I could throw that together for you or somebody could for sure. Um. What am I going at here? I need my my settings. That's right. Yeah, there you go. Even better if there is a MW script approach, you know. Uh, to nope. What am I doing here? Testing. I want to walk a little bit slower. I got my crazy one thousand speed here. Let's go to five hundred. It'll be a little bit less awkward for a. Uh, Glass Joe. Yeah, that's just where my brain is because last night I, I was working with the no combat, no travel when combat is acted, active uh, for the signpost travel mod. So that's like where my brain is. You know when you got a hammer, everything looks like a nail. When you're writing Lua, everything looks like a, I don't know, Lua. <laughs> no, no, you're good, Sophia. That's great. Great discussion relevant to what we're doing because this is a mod on the list. Okay, good. We're, we're great here. All right, so let's move on to the... By the way, yeah, see, it takes 20 minutes to do three steps. <laughs> yeah, well, so to be fair, though, Lua is a better approach for many reasons. Most of the time, right? I was thinking, like, of an update for my uh, Oh No Stolen Reports mod. I can use the Lua API to like just randomly procedurally pick a point kind of like much like what I've done with the signpost mod you know and that's just a better approach than to doing some random stuff with CS uh, MW script rather um, it's there's a time and a place for sure all right moving on dub Dilla location fix yeah <laughs> having played a mostly vanilla setup recently it was kind of fun to uh to go to the vanilla location for this one. Let's go to the download page. I've been forgetting to do this. I'm very naughty. All right, um, yeah. So uh, props to Half Eleven. Thank you so much for everything. All right, um, I put it under fixes, so let's go there. Dub Dilla, okay. Got a couple of versions here. One, one. This looks like the newest one. We'll just nuke what I got. Drop it in there fresh. You want to be taking the time, by the way, to read these documents that the mods come with. Um, don't be in too much of a rush. Um, a lot of this is stuff that is present in the mod description. But it's, it's worth it to do it. Okay, so, hey, we got it. Enable it. And let's go ahead and refresh our config, shall we? And here we go, Dub Dilla location fix. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that to my clipboard, go back to my configuration, erase everything I got with the new stuff, and go ahead and untodify this one. Boom, okay. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and open MW Validator. We're good. Uh, and let's run the game. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm somewhat tempted. Let's see. As I recall, it's somewhere around here. I don't want to go too off the rails. I just want to see where Dubdilla actually is now. And as I recall, it's somewhere over here. Right.
Todd approved way of finding out where it be. All right. As Todd intended, there we go. We're in the place where the game described it would be. Awesome. Moving on. Grayed out dialogue. All right, good. Another good one. Mazalchev. Thank you so much. And what do we got here? Another one under fixes. Okay. Just nuke what I've got. Okay, so this is one that's going to need a... You know, we should have the folder path be what you actually pull out of the zip. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, and this is going to be another Todd approved fix. We're starting to collect a lot of these here. All right, uh, so we got it. Enable it, go back to the CFG generator, reload the page to update my checkboxes. And let's go down there and look and see. Wow, we finished an entire section. Yes. Hit the end key to go to the bottom of the page. Submit custom setup. And here we go, grayed out dialog. Dialog saved. Now present in our load order. Here we go, so copy to clipboard. We will uh, untodify the things that need untodifying. Good. Validate it. Good. Run it. Okay. Escape. F10. Scrolling up. Ignore all that red business. Don't worry about that. You won't have that. You can see our plugins loading. Dialog saved. Very good, very good. We got our folder paths here. Very good, very good. Okay, I'm moving on. Tamriel data. The biggin. I don't think I'm going to delete and re-extract this one just because it's a big file, but uh, you'll want to download, uh, you know, either from the Nexus or Google Drive, as you please. All right, so let's get to that on my computer. Mm, okay, modding resources. So this is uh, something I'm going to need to change. Let's go ahead and, because uh, I have this under the old location of land masses still. We'll go ahead and put it under modding resources. Boom, just like that. Makes sense. That is a good change. I approve of it. Okay. Um so I personally keep both of these files on disk. Um yeah, and so, you know, you don't technically need to do what I'm do doing here. And uh, for the purpose of this stream, I'm actually just going to go ahead and dump that right there. To agree with the config generator. All right. And also to agree with the config generator, we got three BSA, one ESM. All right. Uh, enable for the config. Go back to the config. Refresh the page. We can see it's checked here now. Hit the end key to go down. Click the Submit Custom Setup button. And uh, here we have it. All right. Good deal. We have added, successfully added, Tamriel data. Copy to clipboard. We will unbork the... Whoa, whoa. Don't try this at home. Unbork these paths. We will validate our config. 
which by the way I keep doing this and I didn't actually you know explain what I'm doing here jumped ahead a little bit <laughs> but when I say validate the config I'm talking about none other than OpenMW validator written by me and it's a uh, command line program that you run on your command prompt um, and it just gives you output about your config um, you know you can see right here it tells us what our data files are where they are if there's any mistakes like if you wrote something that's a typo or that doesn't actually exist exactly as you typed it it'll tell you um, it's helpful if you're doing things my way you know without a mod manager software so okay moving on now that I've clarified that figure that might be a mysterious to some people so okay we're not removing that we're moving on Tamriel data graveyard deprecations undeprecated this is another one I actually don't know where I have it let's uh <laughs> Yikes. There we go. Okay. Patches. All right. And so I want my folder path to agree with what we've got here. I love it, Altario. Thank you. Yeah, great changes. Uh, Sector. No, I have not. Have you? Uh, yeah, I've been there, dude guy, for sure. I think we've all been there at some point, right? Like, oh, God. What did I screw up? <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So, one thing to note here. We have a base folder. That is not in our data, so let's go ahead and fix that. Oh, okay, interesting. Why sector? Um, I mean, I'm open box for life, pretty much. I've been using open box for 14 years. Um, oh yeah, probably me too, dude guy, honestly. Somewhere in that area, right? <laughs> Was the first time I saw something like that. All right, let's fix this data path real quick. What do we got here? Zero, zero, core. All right. Perfect. We'll add this to our deborking list. All right. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, we took to we took a no, we didn't actually go look at this yet, did we? Yeah, this one, the friendly red box. I think many of us have experienced the <laughs> the shock of seeing such a thing. Oh no, what did I screw up? Enable it, and let's go here and refresh the page. Custom CFG. Let's check our progress. Ooh, feels good to fill up those checkboxes. Hit the end key to go to the bottom. Click the button to get our new config. Okay, and uh, yeah, here's our here's our loadout. Copy to clipboard. Paste it here. Fix the fixables as is tradition. Okay. Um, TR Graveyard, everything looks good. Let's validate it. Let's run it. <laughs> yes. They were angry. The red is like, oh, it's like extra, you know, like you did a bad thing. All right. And let's go ahead and right click now. Nope. No land masses added just yet. I'm goofing. Seems good. Oh, 
Okay, moving on. Next up. The Great. I've thought about actually like a not lore friendly fourth wall breaking mod that uses those things, by the way. Like a joke mod, you know? Could go well with like the, <clears throat> I don't know, like the <laughs> 2005's best mod list. All right. This one I actually do have in the place where it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could have like the deprecated asset person race, you know? <laughs> That has like sectors delete things gun as a power or ability, you know, a racial ability. Yeah, ooh, yeah, we're that. We always got to pick on Fargoth. Let's deprecate him. All right, and so just looking like I already have all the folder pass here, but I have some that I don't need. This gets replaced. Um,. I'm going to undelete that. Actually, I'm going to keep this stuff here. Because it doesn't matter, right? Just want to make sure I absolutely have everything. Glass close up. Okay, good deal. <laughs> what do we got here? Awesome. Somebody already did it. <laughs> That's great. This is really beautiful. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what can I say? This definitely belongs on the 2005 or maybe the... 2010's best list, uh, but I digress. Enable it. Um, and we got one plug-in down here, too. Okay. <laughs> yes, you know, we'll put Morrowind 2 on there and all that good stuff. Hey, Ateno Senpai, welcome. I think I can finally see your chats. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Yeah, this is the TO list. We are on, uh, I don't know what, uh, uh, step number eight right now. But yeah, welcome. I'm glad you're finally here. Thank you for joining. And so let's refresh the page. Let's go down to our section, and we can see we've got two whole sections knocked out, actually. <sighs> All right. Hit the... End key to go down, get a new loadout here. And we can see our config is slowly but surely growing. Copy the clipboard. Okay. Okay. And we will unbork a couple of paths that we fixed in the code. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Thank you, Gonzo. Twitch, I do not approve of that. Okay, I seriously do not approve of that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, and to clarify what I'm doing here, these are just in the data. We were missing some paths, right? So I fixed them up and added it here. And in the meantime, as I'm progressing through the list, we're just going to monkey patch it, you know, and, and, and make it work. So, okay, check me. Ooh, bad paths were configured. All right, okay. Yes, yes, you see the problem here. I did not submit to the will of the folder paths from the website. Let's try that again. No problems. We'll go ahead and run the game for posterity. And what I normally press escape and then F10 for, we can actually also see here in my terminal. We got our AAB data loading. We got all those folder paths loading. Looking good. Um, Epic plants patch might at this point be breaking some plants. Actually, let's let's take a look.
No, everything actually looks okay. Let's find some flowers real quick, and then I'll be convinced that we're okay. Yeah, no, okay, we're okay. I suppose they aren't doing anything yet. Okay, good deal. So, next up. And if we go and go ahead and look at our next section, uh, we've got the big old consistency section coming up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why we're not seeing anything. Thank you, Altario, for clarifying. Here we go. The lovely Poodle Sandwich FMI collection. Hey, Poodle. <sighs> nice to see you. Yeah, okay. I like it. Little things like this all come together pretty well. All right. So I do happen to have this one already. Consistency. Uh, nice to meet you. It reminds me of my cat. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Whoa, whoa, not the zip. Got distracted thinking about my kitty. Ooh, here's another one where we are not consistent with what we pull out of the zip. I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. this to our unborking list here. You, the user, won't have to do this kind of stuff, but me, the <laughs> one of the editors of the website, we gotta do it. Okay. And so going back here, we can click it enabled. We can go back to our config page, refresh real quick, see it's enabled. Good deal. Click the, uh, press rather, the end key. Click the button. And here's our config. Nice to meet you. Okay. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't try this at home. Wow, I did something there. <laughs> that was not a good thing. There we go. Copy, paste, fail. If I was really not lazy, I would write a said one-liner to fix this, but I digress. Validate it. Oh, did I not? Tire logs, I didn't unbork one of them. Thank you, validator. Oh, cool. Yeah, we, you know, we need people like you making sure uh, things work on the Mac. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, we should probably note something like that. Um, maybe on the performance page, if that's like a ARM Mac gotcha. Thank you for mentioning that. Let's run our game. A lot of these things aren't like things you can get in the game and immediately notice. So easily, usually, at least. Uh, hi. Uh. Hurry this along. Yeah, you're not going to give me that one. And we can see our folder paths being used. We can see our plugins. Excuse me. Being loaded. Let's move on, shall we? Caius Big Package. One of the most, yeah, I think, you know, crucial immersion mods. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Uh, so let's get down to it. This one, okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is <laughs> good sense of humor here. 
uh, Team Big Package. <laughs> uh, you gotta love it. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I just... I lost my page here. Hold on, hold on. Don't try this at home. Yikes. What is going on here? There we go. Whew. Uh, okay. So if we open up the zip here, all the stuff I already have. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Or there's what, like a Curio's Big Balls or something like that. That's another fun one. Okay, enable it. Come down here and we can see we're making a dent in this section. It would be, oh, you know what, Gonzo? Ah, you, I think it was you that mentioned we need like some kind of an icon in the corner that says how many you've enabled. I can't, for, don't let me forget to do that. Because <laughs> I did for a while. Not all done, oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. Well, don't let me forget. <laughs> Not all Dunmer are slavers. Not all Argonians are slaves. So true. And we will be plonking it in a separate data path, but thank you. All right. Ah, thank you for the mention, Ateno Senpai. Gonzo. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, please. I mean, I think that's a great idea, but I'm definitely open to ideas about how to implement it. I was thinking, like, some kind of an image, you know, in the corner with a number uh, imposed over it or, or something. But, yeah, I mean, mock something up, please. I would love to see a mock-up, and I can implement it. No problemo. All right, not all Dunmer. Where are we at here? This one, just to plug in that you plonk in there. Good deal. Um, well, you know, I mean, even something just like take a screenshot of this page, right? And like just use MS Paint to draw something there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, just make it happen in some janky way and I'll reproduce it with HTML and CSS and JavaScript. There we go. That's how we do. All right, uh, enable. Checking it off. Unborking is completed. Let's go ahead and validate. We're good. Let's run it. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're good. The game loads. We're not really far enough along yet to see any major differences, so we're going to leave it at that. We can see our plugins loading here, you know. Um, so yeah, in the interest of progress, we'll keep moving along. The service refusal and contraband. Okay. Um, this would be a good one, by the way, to do via Lua eventually. I think just for compatibility, right? Uh, let's take a look at the page. Just another one of those things the game talks about but doesn't actually do. Thank you, Kay. Yes. Be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. Interesting. Good to know. Yeah. 
can have something like that. And seeing that's going back to the you guys do too much Lua. Well, I mean, you know, it is the way. What can I say? All right, back to our consistency folder. Let's see, I've already downloaded this, of course. Just dump it in there, good to go. Enable it for me. Come back down here. All right, that's what I like to see. And I'm gonna actually, in the interest of not unborking every single time, I'm gonna skip the unborking until I fix all, finish all the consistency mods, just to keep moving along here. All right, next up, sane ordinators. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely something I remember noticing from my, one of my first playthroughs, right? Like, wait, you shouldn't hate me now, though. I am, like, a good guy and stuff. <laughs> okay. Sane. I don't even have this in the right place. What is wrong with me? Okay. Gameplay. Sheesh. All right. What was I thinking? <laughs> there we go. Just plonking into the right place there. I'm going to use Poodle's word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. You know, it just doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not going to hop in the game just yet because we don't have a config. We will enable it back here. Refresh the page. I feel like whatever the thing, by the way, whatever the thing that we show here, the icon, I feel like clicking it should take you to, um, should take you to like your updated custom CFG page. Yeah, yeah, it should do that. All right. Good, good. And so is this one made redundant by BCOM Plus? I think Sophia asked about this before, and I made a, I made a point to look into it, and I never did. Um, this one is nice, though, because, as it says here, includes newly recorded lines from original Morrowind voice actor Jeff Baker. Uh, only in Seed of Power. Got you. Thank you, Sophia. Okay, so so for now, because we're not using the uh, the full loadout here, when we have the ultra total overhaul list, we'll have to keep that in mind. All right. Uh, okay. Hospitality papers expended. Yeah, see, I did a thing here. And I believe that's what we're, yes, good deal, good deal. That's what we're showing there. Ooh, okay, Altariel, please. I'm intrigued. Tell me more, why? Checking them off. Here we go. One more on this section. Feels good. All right. Actually, we'll stay down there. Next. Didn't even know about this until El Tariel kindly mentioned it on this very stream a while back. Yeah, okay. Sure. Um, El Tariel, I don't disagree with you there. The main problem with that approach is... With regard to ground cover, um, if we can do it in a way that will, you know, not require generating custom ground cover. Um, yeah, Ateno Senpai, absolutely. I would love to do that, too. That's more that's closer to, like, graphics overhaul, really. Um, but, yeah, going back to what Altario was saying, um, the reason why I, not the reason, one of many reasons why I adopted BCOM on mod lists was because BCOM does just such a great job of integrating with everything, including ground cover, right? 
and um, it's a huge pain to generate those. So, uh, yeah, lawnmower would just erase the awkward things for sure. Um, you know, in 2090 when we have like the Yeah, that's a good call out. Um, let me finish my thought on the 2090 list where we have like a new style of doing ground cover that is like painted on the train. It won't be an issue. But Sophia, so um, I believe what happens um, is that eventually like ex expansion resource ends up loading later, like in the total loadout here, right? Like let's go here and uh, just let's look at the full thing. Whoa. What is the name of this? Oh dear. What have I done? One expansion. Fixes. Expansion resource conflicts. Uh, yeah, here we go. This, uh, okay. Um, so it does end up fairly low in the loadout here you can see this is the full i've done everything um and i'm with you eltario by the way bcom is great completely um you're right there are other really good city overhauls out there for sure um to so there's a couple balmora delara's balmora is like fantastic you know um and i agree it would be really nice to have like the you know, a look at those, but it's just so hard to make things work together, you know. Um, does it load after Met? Yes, it does. Let's see here. Um, here, and then uh, more advanced textures is quite early on. It is replacing those textures. Just to make sure we don't have a subfolder here. Okay, we don't. Good deal. You know, Ateno Senpai, thank you for asking. It's on my I want to play it list, but I've actually never done SSE. I feel like something in the spirit of that absolutely is amazing. Um, you know, Sothasil, the dungeon is kind of weak. Spoiler alert. But yeah. It's on my, it's, you know, it's on my, I really need to try it in 2091 list. Enable this. Here we go. Oops. Sophia, are you thinking, by the way, that we have a kind of a load order conflict going on here? After, okay, interesting. So let's go in the game. We need to follow up on that. Good call out, Sophia. I'm going to put that on my... Put that on my list here. Um, here we go. <laughs> Expansion resource conflicts conflict. That's a little funny to read out loud. Um. Yes, that's a great call out. Thank you for that, Sophia. We need to check into it. Um, not quite far enough along yet, but once we get to Met, we'll check it out. All right, next step. I think we're finally, yeah, okay, we're on to the uh, cut content section, which uh, I believe I actually have that in the right place here. Let's see here, cut content. Yeah, here we go, cutting room floor. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Well, let's take a step back real quick, though, and let's make sure that my config is good before we get into this, because I haven't checked in a minute because of all the unborking we got to do. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you, Sophia. Um, and yeah, Gonzo, same here. It would be really nice. Actually, I think TrainWiz is working on like a game, like a commercial game. 
I think Altario linked it here a couple weeks ago. They have like a game on Steam that's coming out. So yeah, I don't know if they're going to do SSC anymore, which is understandable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got, you got a real game now, which is mad props, you know. And I wish them the best. Yeah, it does, it does. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, maybe, it's probably... Oh, okay, cool, that's great news. That's really, really great news. Nice to meet you. That's what I'm doing. Tamriel data. Deprecations. Grayed out dialogue. And I will be updating the beta website, by the way, immediately following this stream. I'm going to push up a change. So those of you watching after the fact won't have to do this on Borking. Don't worry. Yeah, me too. I got a wish list it too. I don't go on to Steam that often, honestly. Actually, my Steam on my gaming PC doesn't even work anymore. It's like some Steam for Linux bug, but I can't like get properties on games and stuff. Right, me too, dude guy. The same way, you know, just be chill and it is what it is. All right, let's validate. Hey, all right, look at that. It just works. S-S-E-S-E, -S -E -S -E. heck yeah. <laughs> It's, well, the thing is, it's such a great take on, like, dungeons, you know, which are a bit hit or miss in Morrowind, right? They're a little on the boring side. I think it's fair to say. All right. We'll run the game after having not run it for a minute. All right. Uh, yeah, all the stuff that I added is here. Our, our Poodle Sandwich compilation, good to go. The game is running more or less. Pay no mind to the hideous frame rate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So the cell, and having recently done it, I did a playthrough on uh, my new mod list, which I will take a moment to point out here is called Just Good Morrowind, which has no you know, extra content or anything like that. So I played vanilla Sothasil in all its glory and Tribunal in the whole game. And uh, obviously I had Patch for Purists. But um, yeah, it's like, wow, this is really weak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tribunal is just like, uh, well, it's there. There's some stuff there that isn't too bad, I think. But I wouldn't hate you if you <laughs> didn't love it. All right, good. So we're good. We can move on to cut content. Let's do that. Yeah, for sure. Or they, yeah, you know, it's game development, right? All right, so we got this one going back a couple of minutes ago. We got this one set up. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> TR Almalexia, I am definitely stoked for. That's going to be, you know, we need it. All right, we're enabled there. Right? Gonna be amazing. Gonna be amazing. Artifacts reinstated. Let's go on over here. Actually, I didn't look at the cut content page either. Let's look at that real quick. So props to Cicero for putting this together. It's a really well-made set here. And uh, lots of good in input from Altario about what to use here. And um, I think it really fits well with our setup. And another one from Cicero that I also think fits pretty well with our setup. And, okay, so we got the, yeah, just a bunch of loose stuff there. Okay. Yeah, so honestly, I'm with you, Sophia. Like, the city design of Tribunal is pretty cool. Like, sewers aren't the most exciting locale to be hunting stuff in and whatever. But, like, it is, I don't hate it at all. The questing is a little bit, like kind of all over the place you know you can you can tell it's um maybe a little bit less thought out um blood moon i'm actually in the middle of playing uh in my just good morrowind uh run i'm like about to do the restag and yeah it's just like i don't know 
Okay, yeah, the theater play, Tenno Senpai, yeah. <laughs> yeah, agreed, Altario. Blood Moon is, like, vastly improved <clears throat> by TOTSP. The vanilla is just, it's so lame. Uh, what can I say? And and Sophia, same here, right? Like, those two swords, pff, I still love them. What can I say? Um, right, yeah, exactly, Sector, exactly. Okay, so where are we at here? We're getting we're getting caught up in the convo, and that's great. Uh, right, we need to activate this mod. Next up, gimme, and we'll go ahead and get a config since we finished a whole section here, and we're on to now a very interesting section coming up, which is this one. All right, so I just want to reflect a moment here on the fact that we have gone, been going for an hour and we've managed to cover, you know, one, two, three, four sections with a lot of banter, which is good, though. All right, copy to the clipboard. Do the thing. And, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe we will just go ahead and eventually, gradually, over the next couple of weeks, just do the whole list on the stream and fix these problems. Is that, are we going to be crazy enough to do that? Is that what's going to ha be happening here, guys? I don't know. <laughs> we might. Ooh, dude guy. Let me tell you, it's pretty good. It's... I mean, I'm a huge fan of the landscape in there. Um, you got to try it. Let's give it a validate. Great job. And yes, that is a Tim and Eric reference if you ever wondered that. Ooh, yeah, Julan. Yeah, I'm not personally into followers um, too much. We've talked about this on the stream before, but yeah, it's just like the Bethesda game tendency of followers to, you know, just jump in front of your face at the worst possible time. Um, agreed, Altariel. Julan, and there's also Arvesa, the Armager follower that seems like it has a really nice story and quest with it. Um, I just, yeah, I wish I liked followers more. I don't. I really don't. I don't mind cheesing follower quests at all <laughs> with teleporting or whatever. <clears throat> Actually, my signpost mod makes the um, one of the Mages Guild early follower quests very cheese mode. I don't actually really care. Do we use Solstein Material Overhaul? Yeah, it's on 6.0. I'm almost positive. Altariel, that's kind of what I was thinking, honestly. Especially when I read at, uh, the description for Arbessa, I'm thinking, wow, like... This is deep, you know, and props to the... Like, I really wish that I liked playing with followers, but yeah. Maybe sometime I should just bite the bullet and just do it, you know. Just deal with it. Let's see here. Interior. Oh, maybe we... Don't use that one, Sophia. Hold up. We do. Okay. Nordic Souls Time. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was going to say. I th <laughs> Nordic Soul. There we go. Souls Time Interiors Overhaul. I can read. I assure you all. For the main quest, actually... um. Okay, so Ateno Senpai, first off, I want you to go ahead and follow the installation instructions we have on the website. And if they're not adequate, ping me or anybody in the channel for our website on Discord and let us know what's not clear. We'll fix it and we'll make it, you know, good to go. Um, as for your question, what ha what do we have for the main quest? Well, I heard that some people, Gonzo, wink, wink, have some pretty cool main quest ideas for mods. Maybe someday we'll see them, pre-2090. All right, moving on. All right, now we're into the fun stuff. Will we see some more FPS? Will my potato bake less? We'll see. Stay tuned. Okay, mesh fix. Yeah, this is one of the ones we direct you to the archive for. Um, and I have a copy of the file here on my website, too. 
someday I'm going to upload all those files to a GitLab repo so they can be preserved in, the, in history. Um, there you go. Thank you, Gonzo, for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> someday we're going to have Team Gonzo and we're going to make it happen. All right. Um, I'm getting a little distracted here, getting excited about Gonzo's mod. Sorry. Fixes. Mesh fix one, two. One point two. Look at me. This is must be a really old <sighs> folder that I haven't even looked at in a long time. Compatibility fixes. I don't think we really need any of these, honestly, um, because such fixes will be provided later on by other things, such as Morrowind Optimization Patch. Dungeons, yeah. Well, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and agree that their Ilanibi, their take on Ilanibi is like mind blowingly good. And it's what really made me a fan of Seeloth's work. Um, it would be really great to see more love for the vanilla dungeons for sure. All right. So, anyways, we just need the meshes and textures from this one. Maybe we should say that in the usage notes. Um, yeah, mesh fix. Yeah, let's do that. There's not one here, so four mod. Nice! Thank you for sharing, Gonzo. I'm super hyped about this, because I feel like this is a great, you know... Somebody who, like, really wants to overhaul the main quest this is it man that's what you want an idea like that you know um okay so total overhaul graphics overhaul expanded vanilla and we just want to say only the meshes and texture folder or should we just say you do not need should we say what you do need or should we say what you don't need Oh, uh, geez, Gonzo, you got to, like, put it out there and let's make it happen. There's so many modathons. There's no reason we can't hack on this. Also, I heard, remember hearing about a climbing mod. Huh? huh? <laughs> Sorry, Gonzo. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was I doing here? Mesh fix. So we're talking about, I'm going to say what you do need. Only the meshes... That's good, I think. Okay. Uh, so we will and go ahead and enable this one. Our path agrees with what we've got down there. We'll move on to the next one. Correct meshes. I believe quite a few of these will be overwritten by um, later things, but we still get quite a few good stuff from this. Quite a few good things. Okay. So we got fixes, correct meshes. Here we go. And uh, yeah, here's here's another one where I have kind of gone off and done my own thing with the path there. Shame on me. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Gonna go ahead and assume probably English is the default here, but we're gonna fix this. Ooh. All right, and we're gonna add this to the unborking. <laughs> list which is growing kind of quite large i might actually deploy the website now Ooh, 
Galaxy brain idea. Hold on. It will take less time to deploy the website to the server than it would to update it on my local laptop, actually. Um, true story. Let me do that. And it's off. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and enable that one. And <laughs> I am, though, going to break the CSG generator while I'm doing this. Maybe? Yeah, okay. I got it just in time. Because if I do this now... <laughs> Alright. Uh, the one and only MOP. This is the one that we should start seeing some frame rate gains from. Uh, you will see probably more than I will here. Um, as I keep mentioning, my potato Intel graphics card suffers quite a bit when I'm streaming. I miss out on quite a lot of frames. So mods performance. Morrowind optimization patch. Here we go. Core. Graphic herbalism. Weapon sheathing. I actually have in a separate folder here. Oh, no, no, no. There it is. Boom. There we go. All right. And uh, no plugins to speak of here for us. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it. <laughs> and hopefully this doesn't blow up too much. All right, cool. Hey. It's still, you can see down here, it's still putting mods into the website database. That's why there was a not found for mop on the other page. When we deploy the website, we erase the database, and then we regenerate it. All right. Let's get our custom setup. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, all right. So maybe I will have to wait until this is done. Oh, boy. It's breather time. Drink some if you got some. Oh, boy. There we go. Okay. Whew. Me and my good ideas. Well, the website is doing something. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's hop back and take a look at my config here. We're going to be able to actually delete these now. Yeah, it's going to be fine, Sophia, but yeah, for now, I broke the website. This, this is the thing. And the server, as I've mentioned previously on the stream, the server that we run the website on is um, probably the cheapest, weakest server you can buy. Um... Here we go, finally. Now we're back now. At least we're far enough along. And we can see that some of the... um. Oh, my paths didn't update yet. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's go back to one that we... Yeah, correct meshes, I believe. Yeah, it has a data files now. Cool, we're done. Data files, boom. Excellent. This is not updating, though, and it's making me sad. Grayed out dialogue. Did I forget that one? Aw, oh, shucks. I sure did. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it again. Don't worry. I'm only going to break the website again. Okay. Uh, ooh, before I do that, though, let's get to the next step. At least we can have something to look at here. 
Okay, and let's look at our progress here. If we jump down here. Mesh is in performance. Uh, we're about halfway through here. And I think um, at this point, once the once this site deploy finishes and I can get a config that I can use, we're going to jump in the game and we're going to see what kind of a frame rate difference I'm going to get. Um, I was getting about 12 FPS looking south as a best case scenario. So we'll see you know, what happens um, when we run it with mop. So, graphic herbalism up next. All right. Um, oh, yeah. So, we have merged a lot of these patches back into here, which is a good thing. Oh, no. I can read, I swear. I have my patches just awkwardly in a different folder. We will conform to what the website says. I just dunk all these in there. All right. No real reason to keep it separate. All right, yeah, and if you haven't heard of this mod, you need it, pretty much. All right. Enable for CFG. Let's see how broken things are. Pretty broken, evidently. Oop. Okay. All right. Well... Let's see if it's unbroken enough to give us a config that I agree with. Oh my, okay. We'll move to the next step and hopefully it won't blow up. <laughs> it did. <laughs> this one's gonna blow up too. Maybe not. All right. Oh, cool. All right. Thank you, Gonzo. Let's see what you got here. Ooh, okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um a bit of a small image, but I get what you're going for here. I like that. Something like that. I dig it. For sure. Oh, poor website, please. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I goofed and I copied the wrong link from Discord. There we go. That's better. Total custom CFG mods. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it would be fixed, basically, in the corner. Meaning, if I'm on this page and I scroll down, it's going to remain up here. Kind of like this red banner. Yep. Yeah, totally. That's what's up, my dude. We'll do it. I will add that for sure. All right. Give me configs, please. There we go. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Grayed out dialog. No more unborking. Copy it directly from the config. I'm erasing it even. Uh, this is quite satisfying, not going to lie, to watch this fill out and copy-paste it exactly from the CFG generator. Yeah, for sure. Or you could, like, click it to expand it. I mean, we're scope creeping here a little bit, but that would be useful to have. Yeah. I don't dislike the idea in any way. All right. Let's validate. Oh. Okay, so we have some borked paths here. Let's fix them. Okay, so I put the data files on the wrong thing. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. 
that's how software development works though it's a it's a feature of software development to feature creep like yesterday when we were i was pretty sure i was nearly done with the signpost fast travel mod and then last night i ended up adding all kinds of things sound effects you can't travel when you're in combat that kind of a thing we are really going places sophia yeah i love it when you mention that too because it's like we are you know we are really going places and doing cool stuff So now that I've created a need for a third deploy, <laughs> uh, let's continue unborking these things. Open MW validator. Uh, okay. It doesn't like mesh fix. So what did I do there? Oh, the lowercase v, okay. Oh, right. My folder is named incorrectly. Interesting. This is fully replaced. By Ferrum's replacers, I guess? Interesting. Oh, Mop replaces it. Interesting. You know, Detail Devil, <clears throat> thank you for asking. We have added many of those mods to the list now, and I actually haven't got to play any of them, really. Um, I I tried out uh, the Arcane Academy of Venarius a little bit. Um, I took the screenshots on the mod page, and I thought that was just spectacular, you know, interior design, but I didn't actually play it. Good question. Anybody chime in, though. Um, Terror of Tel Amor looks amazing. Um, they all did, though, so... Yeah, this is really interesting. So Mop is overriding this. I don't think we want that. I think we want... Yeah, okay. Whoops. We want our Kwame to pulse. Yeah, so we want this thing to come... at Right here, I think? Altario, uh... Yeah, you definitely got to check him, dude guy. I think this is where it belongs, right? Let's try it. Yes. <laughs> Good call. All right, let's see if it blends. Or will the validator yell at me? <clears throat> Did I save it? No, I didn't save it. Okay. That blends. Okay, so let's hop on over to our data set. And let's go ahead and find 05 graphic herbalism patch. And we need this to go up a few spaces. Uh, pulsing Kwama. There we go. Okay. Now we will do a fourth website redeploy. Are you ready? Boom. Okay. And so now that our config blends, let's get in the game and actually see, do we have like even any kind of frame rate increase? I actually don't know if we will because of the whole potato GPU OBS thing, but uh, oh yeah, definitely. Facing that way, I jumped up almost to 20. You know, when we're counting in between 10 and 20 frames per second, <laughs> there's not really much to to talk about, but it's something. Already, Mop alone has given us kind of a boost. I love it. All right. Looking good. 
And the thing I love the most is that my config comes completely from here, copy pasted, and it's working. So cool. All right. Correct UV rocks. Moving on. Yeah, this is one. It's just like, oof. I'm not really like a aesthetic person. My wife is into aesthetics. Smalio is the aesthetics person of the house. But like, you know, it's kind of hard to not notice stuff like this. <laughs> um, and so obviously this quite a bit better. <laughs> Sten, what is up, dude? <laughs> Welcome. It's been a minute. And get your mind out of the gutter, dude. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, find out where this is. We'll keep an eye on the website down here and make sure it's not going to blow up on us. All right, uh, fixes folder. Correct UV rocks. Ooh, and this is another one. Uh, we got to deploy the website while we're deploying the website. Okay, no problem. Comes in a data files folder. So we've got to amend that. I'm just going to go ahead and control C this deploy. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Not fine. Mm, okay. Good call out, Eltario. Let's take a look at that while the data is crunching. For sure, Sophia. Agreed. So, pulsing quama patch to load after improved eggs and egg sacs. Yeah, that's, uh, hmm. So, I'm actually not that far yet, but, uh, good call out. Let's see. Quama. Improved. Egg. Yeah. Good call. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually control C the update again. Oh, no, it's done. What? Feels like that was really fast. I'm sus of that, but we're just going to nuke it again. All right. So take this one. Plop it down there. Well, it like takes five minutes to populate that SQLite database, you know. Um, ship it. It's getting shipped. Here we go. All right. That's a good call out, El Tario. I appreciate you mentioning that. Um, well, we have to wait a moment here as I have broken the website, so cheers. Oh, is that the wrong one? Hold on. Let me just we're control C happy today. Let's see. Let's check the real website that I didn't break. Improved Quama eggs and egg sacs. I think that's the one. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I did a bad copy paste. Thank you. I get you. That's the one I wanted to. Thank you. Thank you for the buddy check. Very much appreciate that. Wow, look at all these problems we fixed in such a short amount of time. Feels really good. I'm staging it. Let's kick that website out there again. And now we can finally play the game. Hopefully. No, 
Okay. This is the part where we just hit F5 relentlessly. Take that, server. Yeah, definitely. I'm actually playing uh, Just Good Morrowind on my Steam Deck, which I will occasionally dock to a 4K TV. And the vanilla textures with normal maps look great. Don't judge. They do. Uh, and it's 720p scaled up to 4K, so it's not native 4K, but it still looks good, in my opinion. <clears throat> All right. We're still a little borked. Uh, what was the previous one here? Correct UV rocks. Yeah, it's in our config. Good. Retro tink, yeah, something like that, right? And b retro tink being like a hardware thing you put in between your machines to upscale it. Another good one here, and I do believe I have it in the right place. Let's see, replacers, properly smooth meshes. Ooh, this is one I think that has multiple folder paths, though. Hopefully, we got that. Oh, yeah, I've definitely checked them out. I've definitely been using them. I didn't do, like, the Pepsi challenge yet, but, I mean, they work well. Um, in terms of, like, versus the default, you know, like, what's the performance? Uh, what's the visual difference? Come on, website, you can do it. You can totally do it. I know you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do uh, for sure. I will do a uh, a test with and without on the deck. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, let's go down and look at our progress here real quick while we're waiting for the website to finish existing. About halfway through here. Pretty good. We good here? No, not yet. Uh, some of these are quite nice. All of them. <laughs> right. That's what I wanted to see. Give me stuff. There we go. All right. Give me stuff. Yeah. All right. So just uh, making sure I line up with what we got here. Core, optional textures, higher poly, beaker. I love the clear glass on those. All right. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's what I was thinking, too, when I looked at it. I was thinking the, the shadow maps might be a little intense for the Steam Deck hardware, but also I just wanted to try it as it was. Um, and, I mean, it seems to be working well so far. I get, honestly, a consistent 30 basically everywhere, except for the usual suspects, you know, scenes that will drop your frame no matter what. Uh, okay, enable it. Boy, our config is getting pretty big. Look at this. Doesn't even fit on one page anymore, really. All right. Let's validate. Great job. All right. And we're in the game. Everything going well so far. Yeah, that's Morrowind, all right. Okay. Moving on. Project 
Project Atlas. Excuse me. And so this would be the one that you'll get from... Excuse me, MD's GitLab, GitHub, I'm sorry. And I believe we should have a... Probably should add a... Um, Thank you, Ronick. Uh, thank you, Godzo, rather, for helping Ronick there. I think we should probably, by the way, have a link that just goes directly to whatever did this download zip, right? I'm going to do that right now. Copy link. Because taking somebody to the GitHub page is technically not needed. We'll make the download page just go straight to the zip, I think is the sensible thing to do. Good. Yeah, I, th I really think that's better. Um, avoid making people go to GitHub if they don't need to do it, you know. Uh, yeah, so wait, wait, do I even have this one? Performance. Well, I got a special name here for my folder. Let's go ahead and fix that. Looking good. Part of me wonders if we even need to really say this, because the same applies really for every mod, but which is that the source of truth is the CFG generator for everything. Um, no matter, you know, what, but yeah. Anyways. Cool. Yeah, I think we might want to because it's a little—it's redundant, right? That information replies to applies to everything. Boom! There it is. Hit the end key. Click the button. Get config. Copy to clipboard. This is becoming fairly mechanical at this point. All right. Let's validate. No problems. Let's run it. <laughs> wow. So there's all kinds of Atlas textures here that we're not loading. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back here. Uh, we don't have Matt yet, though. Yeah, so, okay, so this is actually, yeah, so this is normal for now. Yes, we will resolve this, so when you get to this point, you're going to have pink houses. It's fine. Just ignore it. That is actually as Todd intended. Moving on. Yeah, you know, there is a certain charm to that, you know. <laughs> Another good one here. I actually like those skulls. Are these skulls better than better skulls? Do we want to use these instead? I mean, hmm. Better skulls are at list, yeah. So there's that. Um, yeah, dude, guy, that's a really good point. Maybe we do want to mention that there, you know, at this point in the list. Let's go to usage notes. Project Atlas. Here we go. Um, let's, how about, so instead of this, we'll just say um, at this, at this point in your mod list setup. You will have 
missing texture. Good call out, dude guy. I appreciate that. Um, let people know, right? So that's going to come up right here. Uh, and it'll instead of this, it'll just say, you know, yeah, at this point, you're going to have missing textures, pink buildings. It's normal. Yeah, good disclaimer, right? That's normal for right now. We're going to fill that in later. Good, good, good call out. Oh my. Okay, so better crates and barrels. What am I doing here? Yeah, good call out, dude guy. For sure, you're right. Ah, uh, okay, Altariel. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to put a note here. So don't forget. All right. Uh, enable it. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm personally really loving this, uh, you know, check it off as I go kind of thing. It's working. <laughs> it's true. It's a day ending in Y. Just keeps filling out, and I love it. Really loving it. Okay. Let's validate it. Great job. Let's run it. It's the new look of Sedanine and also of wooden uh, rail posts. <laughs> cool. All right. We won't muck about too much with this. It's working for our purposes. Yeah. This is the total Barbie overhaul mod list. You didn't know that? jamming's off one thing that we should look into um is in the grand scheme of our total load order you know what is the ultimate fate of this one do we actually you know like use it properly um because i remember at some point altario you mentioned some kind of a doubt perhaps uh we should follow up on this though anyways nice approach to uh Bounding box issues. Mm, okay, so where do I have this at? Uh... Hey, Krabby Mud Crab, welcome. Thank you for joining. I'm, gra I'm glad you're here. I read somewhere that uh, the Linux kernel has, just the Linux kernel has more lines of code than all of Windows. Uh, so that's something to put into perspective for you. <laughs> okay, uh, where are we at here? Jamming's off. I was trying to find that in my setup. Okay, Monty. performance well okay okay hey 
fixes is a better place for it. There we go. It's a little lonely here in the performance folder, but hey, you know, someone's got to do it. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, okay, so as we draw to the end-ish of the stream, we have actually managed to finish one, two, three, four, five sections. A pretty decent chunk. Yes, we all do. That's why we're all here, so welcome. Uh, let's see if we go down here and we just take a quick look. We got a, quite a few sections here, quite a lot, but we actually managed to chalk, knock out this chunk, um, and we'll probably put a dent in this before we say goodbye for the day. So let's keep moving on. Great job. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get my config for this yet. Let's do that. All right, copy it to my clipboard. Now let's validate it. Jamming's off. Data files with the lowercase f. Oh no, okay. <laughs> All right. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, this is my life now. Case fold. I, I mean, yeah. I, pro I mean, I probably should do that. Um, I wrote the validator before OpenMW did that. Um, but actually, by default, the behavior is to case fold. Um, maybe? Let's see. Case sensitive. Yeah, it is default to be case insensitive. Oh, because that's configured and it's not real? I don't know. That's a bug. I gotta fix that. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, Ateno Senpai, thank you. That's a great question. That is the question everybody wants to know about, right? Like, is there some way that we can just make an easy button for all of this? And that's the problem that Wabajack tries to solve. Um, it's, it's a hard problem to solve. And ultimately, yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's if you're getting anything from Nexus Mods, Wabajack is the only legit way to do it. Everything else violates their EULA. Well, they don't need to migrate away from Nexus, right? You could post to Nexus and GitLab, which is what I do for a lot of my stuff. I'll put my stuff on GitLab first. Maybe eventually put it on Nexus, you know. Um, you could do both, but yeah, you got to care enough to do that. And, you know, I don't blame somebody for not wanting to really care and only wanting to do Nexus. That's their prerogative, so. All right, let's go ahead and... Let's move to the next one, though, before I wipe the database, just in case there's another thing we got to fix here. Tamro rebuilt the big one here. Let's get this loaded up. Well, Sector, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is like an exclusive blessing to granted Wabajack. Like, they have a special API key on Nexus. They have some special access... I mean, they're using some API that I cannot write code to use, right? Wabajack is not scraping the web page the way G7's thing does, right? Like, so I feel like they do have special access. That's why there's a Wabajack thing when I go to make a API key on Nexus. Yeah. Oh no, okay, all right. Um, yeah, I'm kind of all over the place here. Let's get Tamriel rebuilt. And 
Morrowind, so you're going to want to go ahead and uh, get it from the Morrowind Nexus. Uh, based on what Altario just said, you're going to get the up-to-date files from here. I already have them. Right, and that's what I'm saying, like, the eighth. So, for t regarding what Sector said, yeah, I can't, like, be like, oh, look at me, I'm making a thing, give me an API key. Like, how do you even do that? What is the process for doing that? You have to be, like, an insider at Nexus or approved by them somehow. And, uh, yeah, I mean, a ten of Senpai, right? Anybody who knows about how to use those kinds of tools can bypass the website. Um, most people don't, though. Enough for it to be worth it for them to do it, I think. All right, let's get this set up, shall we? We got three paths here that are present. We have one ESM, one patched plugin, and one faction's ESP. Everything looks to be in place. I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. We'll scroll down here, refresh the page, and see my nice little checkbox fill in. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I was not aware that they give them out liberally. That's good to know, right? Like, if I'm just a tool developer. But yeah, the fact is, like, they are the gatekeepers of that. For understandable reasons. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would argue that that's a problem with their system. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, Gonzo, good call out, right? You need premium. I would argue it is worth it to pay for premium, but not everybody can do that, you know? Not everybody has that kind of income, so... Yeah, so you can, if you pay them, you can use API keys and stuff. But me, as a creator of a tool, it's not clear how I get my tool listed and, like, the things you can get API keys for, you know. Um, and so that's where my kind of question is coming from. All right, let's get our config. Readily see Tamriel rebuilt uh, mainland right there. Good deal. Let's uh, validate it. Oh, please. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, it's, thank you for mentioning that, Ateno Senpai, that is basically my mission, right, and that's why I use GitLab, and that's why I put all my stuff on GitLab, um, the problem with it is that it involves a lot of patterns and concepts that most people aren't familiar with, you know, um, so all I can do is make it look good and make it easy for people, that's what I try to do, what is going on here? Oh. I can read. I can totally read. There we go. Yeah, all right. And now that we got a mainland, let's get in game and look at it, huh? We'll finish out the land masses section. Here we go. And what we really want to see is this glorious content. Yeah. Okay. Good to go. We wouldn't see that if we had a problem. Let's continue on. Adding more glorious content. Surely you've heard of a place called Skyrim? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for mentioning that, Altario. Honestly, I really wanted to try it again. I really did, but the the whole Moo thing kind of... Someday we'll make a secret cow level mod. 
and and it will be uh, it will require Wormhaven as a as a master. <laughs> All right, Skymane, I already got it. This is not right. This is definitely not right. Oh, because I'm deploying the website, it's broken. Uh, Krabby Mud Crab, that is entirely fan generated, believe it or not. They had like some concept maps, maybe, or like they describe in books what that stuff might look like. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> You know, Sophia, I mean, I was thinking about, like, once we're able to add skills, I wanted to add a farting mod, to add a farting skill, and maybe we could add, like, a mod that's like a, a you know, a toilet talk skill, and you could fart and moo and stuff. <laughs> it could be fun. Okay, well, we're waiting for the website to crunch here. <laughs> I did well. Evil Eye did some de some de hard coding of stats recently, and I got excited and thought we could add new stats. And I started working on a concept for a farting mod. Alas, we're not there yet. That's right up there with the happy meter, though. Which, if you're not aware, happy meter is a canceled mod that I was going to make for the 0 0.48 release video, which was also canceled. But the point of the happy meter was to show you how happy Crassius Curio was, based on how naked the player was. Very immersion crucial mod, really. All right. Ooh, we finally got some settings that we're going to have to put in there. Awesome. That's great. But as you can see, we've got the files that it wants. Let's go ahead and include it. Right. Let's get our new config. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Actually, Ateno Senpai, we've talked a couple of times about doing like a, the best of 2005 mod list, you know, and I feel like something like that, Wizards Islands, should totally be on there. Ooh, Eltariel actually had a picture of like, old school mods imposed on the map and just how they conflict with TR. <laughs> we need that mod list. We need it. All right. Great job. Excellent. But wait, there's more. Because now we have the settings.cfg section. And so you, the user, who is not me, you're going to want to open up your settings.cfg file at this point. Mine is right here. And you're going to want to make sure that you got this in there, ground cover. I already do. Thank you, Eltariel. Thank you. Let's just go ahead and for posterity, let's take a look at this right here. Because this is... Atenov Senpai, you're going to appreciate this, I think. This is... Uh, so yeah, we have some, some classic mods and their placement around Vardenfell. Someday, we will present to you this mod list, and only the brave will be able to try it. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so anyway, going back here, I already got this here, but you'll want to make sure you stick that in there. Otherwise, the ground cover is not going to work right or look right. Um, and I have this stomp intensity, too, because I'm a madman. Um, oh, no, no, we have that there, too. Okay, never mind. Um, some people like to tone it down a little bit, but I think it's great. All right. Uh, and with that, let's go ahead and get our final landmass mod installed, shall we? Soul Slime. Tomb of Soul... Tomb of the Snow Prince. We talked about this one uh, a few times so far on the stream. And uh, what can I say? It's just outstanding. All right, so let's take a look at the page. Excuse me. Do you know, Ateno Senpai? That you're, if you're going to be adding this to your mostly iHeart Vanilla setup, that I think um, you'll want to look at it in the expanded vanilla context, but mostly these instructions are going to apply to you and how you're going to want to set it up. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Just keep that in mind. 
All right. So yeah, here we are. Um, you'll want to go ahead and yeah, you just want just this file here for this mod list. Extract these pads out. We got these plugins. I'm not going to try and find them here. I'm just going to trust the CFG generator. Let's enable it. We can see that we have enabled it here. Let's get our new config. Wow. Huge. Huge. And there it is. Part of our config. Okay. So let's copy to clipboard. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, I didn't follow my own instructions. So what we're gonna do, I think, eventually, is uh, you have to download the the ground cover plugin um, separately. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna include this in our MOMW patches collection because it's like kind of obscurely not included there, you know. Um, so. For now, though, I'm just going to do that. Um, I'm going to plunk it in there like it suggests. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to add this to uh, to our patch collection. So it's easier to get set up and harder to miss. Righto. Well. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's just, that's one of those things I wanted to fix for a while, but I always forget about, so. All right. And here we are now, my friends. Uh, thank you for joining me on this stream today. In two hours, we have gone through the total overhaul mod list. We've gone through the first couple of major sections. Uh, we're using the new feature on the website, in development still on the beta, where we can individually check off mods and get a partial setup that as I have shown here, you can copy and paste it into your config file and run the game and it just works specifically according to your progress on the list. At some points in the list, you're gonna see some weirdness like pink buildings, but generally um, it's a good way to try it out and, and see you know if everything looks good or not. So let's actually do one final launching of the game here before I depart to get some lunch. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and fly over Solstheim and we'll take a look at uh, Tomb of the Snow Prince content, and you'll see exactly why I love it. All right, we're off. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. Oh, me, oh, my. Come on. And here we are. If you never played Tomb of the Snow Prince, I mean, just look at this terrain. Outstanding. Just outstanding. Pay no mind to the purple stuff. <laughs> or the, ooh, ooh. Oh, this is missing grass? That's another reason why we should rip the grass out of this step, honestly, because, yeah, you won't actually see grass here until you've set up Ramiros. So, yeah, definitely going into the MLMW patches. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, this one, getting broken out. Um, I'll actually note that here. Usage notes, tomb of... Good deal. We have a fair amount of uh, things to fix that we found today. I feel like that was really productive. <laughs> Good call, Krabby Mudcrab. I mean, you know, this is like Salt Cube Island, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we ignore the Salt Cube Island aspect and just look at these glorious mountains and hills. Um, yeah, if it's, I feel like this was good. You know, people have been asking me for years to do a video of the total overhaul, and certainly it's insanity. You know, um, you, 
come here and you see 558 mods, it's insanity to try and do this in one sitting. But I feel like we've gotten through a decent amount here and I've demonstrated the process and also some of the new features that we built to make life easier for you, the users. So, um, yeah. And, and, and I'm just going to depart with this note about Tomb of the Snow Prince being phenomenal. And uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, let's go back to our list real quick as we like to do and we'll go ahead and uh check that off we got another green day so thank you so much for joining me happy modding and we'll see you on the next stream cheers everybody